Hello everybody and a very good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV, start of a brand new week. I hope your weekend was good and you're ready for what we have got in store because we've got an amazing week lined up, haven't we? we amazing. Have. We've got a launch a day apparently. We have got a launch a day. It's our new little event that we are calling the January News. Ooh, you see? The January oh, News. news. You see? The new, the new, the new, news. new, new news. Because I think a lot of people got a bit confused right. over the weekend because we had this little um, feature on Facebook with me reading the news, news. about the January news, news, but it's not news, it's the, it's new. It's new. Plural new. Yes. News. News. Like news. newness shortened. Yes. News. January news. Yes. Mm. Okay, we've got that now. Yeah, we've cleared yeah. that up. Yeah. So hopefully you can pick up all the new <laughs> news. The news this week uh, and it'll help you get rid of the January blues if you get the oh, news. Very good. I mean, it's there. all been... Uh, it wasn't my idea. You are a professional. Well, you know, yeah. professional what though is what we're still to find out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have got a great week lined up. It'll pay for you to come back each and every day because we have got a new launch each and every day. Today's launch is amazing. One which I know you guys were certainly excited about when we previewed it on the HSM preview show uh, just a few weekends ago and Leanne was telling me I knew this would be popular this like literally hardly made it on air on HSM hardly did it? made it on air it either sold out before it got to air mm. or just as it got to air it sold out I know it went very quickly so yeah. incredibly popular and I'm not surprised Ben the new confetti border dies are absolutely beautiful yeah. they really are they're um, simplistic but they are impactful that's I a great say. way to describe them yeah mm. Mm, mm. Um, I know you've got well have a look at them now actually um, but whilst you've got them there as I said to you earlier on the way that these have been designed to have that effect of the yes is incredible it is absolutely and once we're, we're coming in for a closer we're look we're coming then, in live zoom and i'm very excited about that they really do and it's one die that just does that for you with a little bit of coloring it really is fabulous um and when you see these being used they're just they're, they're so easy it's, yeah. it's so easy it's ridiculous so you're going to make very beautiful cards very quickly but they're so impactful so don't let their simplicity fox you into thinking your cards are going to look basic mm. because they're really not and of course because they're so beautifully simple you're going to be able to do lots of different techniques with them in terms of your inking and your paper piecing I mean that's just a little bit of inked card behind yeah. that piece of confetti there but you're going to be able to pop it onto your little gift bags you're also going to be able to do your little gift boxes as well so really really fabulous Ben I'm loving them I'm a big fan of um, white space on cards and I think these are perfect like, like you say it's almost like a minimalist sort of stripped back look Absolutely. with just a little bit of color popping through the, the die cuts yes um, they are brilliant they are the brand new confetti borders we'll have those available for you in a bundle we've also got a showstopper bundle for you as well uh, and the official launch of these is coming up at two o'clock this afternoon launch day at two however if you're here with us right now you can pick up those deals as part of this preview show and Leanne is with us all day today not only to officially launch these at two nine o'clock eastern but also to be here later on monday makers six o'clock this evening that is one o'clock eastern 10 a.m pacific uh, we've got a great lineup there for you as well with the uh, zigzag scene builders we've also got the uh, colorable creator card dies yes i said it i always fall over that one and we've also got an unbelievable deal on the gnomes collection that's all coming up later on on monday makers a half price deal on that collection which i absolutely adore as always we're live and interactive i'll do a few hellos in just a few moments time but let's get going and have a look at this amazing brand new launch it's the showstopper bundle that you want to go for now the showstopper bundle includes some added extras basically you're going to get all of the brand new dies plus we're going to give you five of those ballpoint blue pens and three lots of your low tack tape now normally that would uh, set you back um, 17 pounds 20 dollars but it works out that you're just going to pay an extra five pounds or five dollars to get those included within the showstopper bundle we've been doing these recently and they've been so popular so we only have a limited amount of the showstopper deal we've got plenty as it stands at the minute of the brand new confetti border dies to go around but of this um, particular showstopper only a limited amount um, if you want to go for the dies individually you can but here's the best value for money it should be setting you back almost 63 pounds almost 
$80. Look at the platinum price today, £34.39 or $41.99. Really tremendous deal. I'll just very quickly show you here before we say a few hellos, all of the different designs that you're going to get within this set. They are so good. Like I said, if you're a big fan of um, quick, easy cards that look amazing. These are absolutely for you, because as you saw with a lot of the um, sort of finished samples that Leanne had there, you know, just a case of really adding a little bit of matting and layering, you know, maybe uh, creating your own background or choosing a bit of colored cardstock to go um, underneath your die cut there, and straight away, you've got a beautiful card. I love the fact that you can leave a lot of white space with these two, maybe add a sentiment, maybe add a little, um, you know, embellishment, maybe a ribbon to these as well. You don't have to be overcomplicated with these to get, you know, really, really tremendous results. So. Happy Hearts are included within the main bundle. Perfect for that uh, day, which is fast approaching. You've then got the uh, Dancing Butterflies in here too. And once again, do you know what? You, you can see here, this one I'm just cut out as a panel, but whether you're using these landscape, whether you're using these portrait, they do look the absolute business. And the way that they've been designed again, you've got that wonderful flow of here, you know, the butterflies just flying through the air, beautifully designed, giving you that sort of uh, pop of confetti feel. Now, you've also got the uh, Scattered flowers again almost like those uh, beautiful floor petals flying through the breeze uh, that's included in the bundle uh, you're then going to get the uh, party time so that's like someone's popped one of those like confetti streamers with all the uh, confetti and stars and balloons flying through the air you're also going to receive look at that in there the confetti sprinkles i mean that is just absolutely joyous um think of all the different colors you're going to be using behind that to create that confetti spray and then lastly in these brand new dies is that beautiful in flight which is a whole host of um beautiful birds maybe swallows i don't know um it can be whatever you like but flying through the air really really beautiful they do uh, sorry uh, resident ornithologist uh, johnny in the uh, the gallery resident twitcher he says that he thinks they look like doves i was going more for the for swallows but uh, we'll, we'll go with johnny they were meant to be doves were they yes they were meant to be doves <laughs> johnny in the gallery he's just gone oh thank you i know <laughs> my birds <laughs> <laughs> no one likes a smarty pants, do they? Nobody <laughs> likes a smarty pants, especially on a Monday morning. Uh, we've got Rachel on the socials this morning. As always, get in touch, say hello, let us know what you're shopping for, let us know if you've already snapped these up, if you're thinking about getting the showstopper. We are very, very busy already. Or indeed, if you've got any questions to fire our way, uh, feel free to do so, because uh, Leanne is in all day, and she's, well, the best to ask those questions to, isn't she, really? Uh, Michelle's in from a cold, rainy New Jersey. Hi to Lynn, the hashtag go live granny, saying good morning and greetings from the Isle of White. Hi to Scanny, your wife, saying good morning from a sunny but chilly Leicester. Sandra Dundas is in, saying good morning, Leanne, Ben, crew, social media superstar, crafty family and friends. My order is in. Yes, and I'm just waiting for the fun to start. Angela's in from a cold Ramsgate. Charlotte says, I've already over my crafty budget for this month, but I can't resist. Thing is, Charlotte, you've got to realise that you, know, you set a budget normally, like for a normal month. January is like about 72 days long, isn't it? You know, so you've almost got... You should sort of almost double the budget in January. Uh, Alison says, good morning, everyone. Love these dyes. Somehow they're already in my basket. Get them checked out. Michelle says, I want the gnomes. Think I'll, uh, they will be a great set to have fun with. You'll see those later. Best deal I think you'll see on these. Uh, Jenny says, good morning. I've bought three of the brand new dyes. Uh, and Christine says, everything that falls out of the die cut you can also use for your shaker cards. I like your thinking already. Um, you're thinking of the best ways to be able to use these. Uh, if you do want to get in touch, you know how to do it by now, whether you're on Facebook or indeed YouTube, just leave a comment, ask a question. Uh, let us know what you're up to today and we will read out all of your comments and say hello. And like I said, if there's anything that you want to know particularly about this new uh, launch, do ask, because it's a good day to do it. The showstopper is proving very popular so far. Uh, <laughs> And thank you to Lillian. That sound you heard a minute ago was not a hairdryer. It was, of course, the uh, the heat tool. Because Leanne, uh, Lillian says, was Leanne doing her hair? I, th I think I think she had the heat tool on. Didn't you? I had the heat tool. I was just making sure, Ben. I did a little. I did one of these just to make sure the electric was on. Ah, I see. Yeah. Yeah, and then sure. you don't have to watch me rummaging around on the floor. No. Here behind the counter. Uh, I was just getting prepared. That, that's it. Yeah, I, I, I knew it. I knew it. You see, Lillian's just being Lillian. 
Uh, <laughs> right, we are, I think, just about ready to go. Lots to show you on the show. We will be previewing Monday Makers for you too, um, with lots of great deals coming up there. But let's see these confetti border dies in action. Six of them to see, and hopefully over the course of this show and indeed launch, you'll get to see all of them in action. But oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to bet where Leanne. Where are you starting with these? Which Do you one know? Is your we're just. But I'm, I'm going with the hearts. Of course. Of course. It's coming up to Valentine's Day, know, Ben. Isn't it? And so we need to be getting prepared for those occasions with we do. when love is in the air, yeah. do we not? Mm -hmm. So I thought, let's go for the hearts. Um, and I really do like the heart one. I think they're all lovely. Look, mm. not one of them. Sometimes when you get a bundle, and this is down to personal preference, because we'll all decide in a bundle which is our favourite yeah. and which is our least favourite. Mm. And it'll change depending on who you ask, because it's subjective, isn't it? Um, I think with this bundle, there isn't one where you wouldn't be able to find a use for it or, or it wasn't your favourite. Yep. They're just so incredibly usable. Now, what you get with the confetti border dies is exactly that. You get a beautiful little chain um, of shapes that are going to cut and it is the length of a six by four piece of cardstock. Now, you can cut in the total size if you want or you can cut off an edge, you can cut into a larger piece of card. You're going to see us use them in many, many different ways. Stack them up, make a full background. Oh, yeah. But the way they've been designed is to cut once themselves and to cut it um, depending on the angle that you want it. So you could have it straight. I'm going to turn it over. You can have it on an angle on your piece of cardstock. It is, in fact, entirely up to you. I'm going to put it on a little angle. Yeah. And I'm using my Gemini Junior plates to cut this. Now, it could not be more simple. And the thing with this is as well, Ben, because um, I'm just doing kind of a random design across the middle of a piece of card, yeah. I don't necessarily have to tape that down. No. Because if it moves a little bit, it doesn't really, really matter. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to do your taping for a simple card like this. You don't have to, um, but we will do taping when we come to do the more complex designs where we're stacking several together. So I'm just going to make my sandwich. Am I doing that the right way? No, Leanne, look at that. Oh, oh I nearly did it wrong, Ben. What did you do? I nearly cut into the shim. Oh. That would have been, a, in Yeesh. the words of Steps or the Bee Gees, depending on how old you are, a tragedy. Tragedy. Yeah, that would have. Uh, but anyway, I've corrected it, so there we go. Put it back in, and I'm just using my Gemini Junior plates through the Gemini machine. And that confetti border die is going to cut into that plain white piece of cardstock. And if you're wondering, this is what we're going to be making. Uh, which is really pretty, I'm sure you agree. Absolutely. It really is lovely. So you've got that lovely ombre colour that you've got coming across there from the dark all the way through the orange into the pink. And you see we've done mats and layers the same, I'm going to show you. So this is what we're going to be making, yeah. just so you know what, what you're looking at while I'm putting the pieces together. Yeah. That has run through the machine. Pick it up, done. Yes. Ready, ready to go. Now you can get your pieces out. I've just done what I've said, don't do, tap them out. But look, when you come, it was a very gentle tap. It wasn't a Sarah Davies tap. No, she whacks it, didn't she? Which, honestly, when I was on the telly the other day, she was like, boosh. No, she, what, in front of you? Yes. I hope you gave her what for. She got an eyebrow raised Did, at that Oh, end. no. I raised an eyebrow, Ben. Mm. Um, now, look, when you see, I'm just going to uh, pop this on some black cardstock because you'll be able to see there. Look, the detail in the tiny little pieces is gorgeous. But then there's a little dotted path which goes around into the heart and round again. That's what creates that beautiful kind of confetti sprinkle. Mm. Um, confetti sprinkle. And it really is. It's elegant. It is elegant. It's and understated elegance, Ben. That's a, you know what, that's the best sentence so far of the day to Thank describe you. these. Wish I'd come up with it. <sighs> well, Ben, you can use it as many times as you like because we're a team. We are a team. We're a team. Top team. Yeah. So I've got my three colours. Now I'm going to use pigments. You can use your Harmony Water Reactive or your pigment inks. It's entirely up to you. Yep. Um, I've got my pigment out today and I'm just going to grab a couple of these little eggs or a little blender. Oh, the blending eggs, this. yes. Yes, yes. You can choose, choose which, uh, whatever you want, either your blending tools or not. The choice is yours. Is so we're going to start with fuchsia. Okay. Um, now with pigment, I like to use pigment because when you're um, dyeing some cardstock, I find you get a more intense coverage mm. of colour more quickly because we're not worried about an even blend here because you're going to cover most of it up with 
your uh, I see. design. Yes. So all you need to really be worried about is around the edges and where the hearts are and just get the colour on there nice and deeply. Do not for one minute worry about a smooth blend. No. It's not what you're doing. So you're going to get all of your colour on and give it a little blend. Okay. And then move into your next colour and I'll just show you what I'll do so you can see uh, exactly as it would be. Move to your next colour okay. and just do a band and you can see how intense that colour is uh -huh. uh, when you're using your pigments. Continue all the way down. You yep. don't need to watch me do that then because okay. I've got one already done. Um, it's boring. You want to see the good bits. We want to show you lots of different bits. In that's the it. Squeezing as much as we can. Um, what I would say to you is when you've used pigment, that's when you need your heat gun. Ah, yes. You need to dry it. So yep. You need your heat gun for that. Um, and I've got a piece that's already prepared here. Oh, beautiful. In the bin. And um, if you want to intensify some of that colour, you can do. And you just go over the top and you see what I've done there is transitioned from a beautiful fuchsia pink into the Chinese red and finally into the Bordeaux. So if you're wondering on the colours I've used, these are the three colours that we've got here to get this really kind of hot party carnival feel. Mm. Fuchsia, Chinese red, Bordeaux into three bands on a piece of watercolour cardstock. That's all you need to do. Very, very simple. You don't need to watch me doing it. So once we've done that, we're going to take our best glue in the world, Ben. And I've got a little card base here, which is five by seven in size. Yep. I've got a piece of black card to matte and layer. Always, we did that um, when we were together last the other week about we matting and layering, didn't we? Oh, yeah, last Thursday. Was it last Thursday? Always matte and layer. And when you're doing something impactful like this with bright colours, I find a black mat mm. really does make the colour pop. It frames everything and makes it stand out. So we'll get that on there. And then I've got my quarter of an inch smaller yep. piece of coloured cardstock that we've just coloured. So remember, we come down on quarter of an inches to give those little frames, exactly as we talked about last week. Mm -hmm. So that's on. And then we finally got our little white piece of cardstock that I've just cut. And all I'm going to do is make sure that I go around the confettis that's and not through them. There we go. Make sure your glue goes to the end. The collal all purpose. And because we've done those three distinct panels, yeah. that means when you put your little piece on Aww. top there, you can see that love. You've still got that lovely a quarter of an inch smaller again. You've got that lovely little border <coughs> around the outside, but you can see your hearts pop and change colour all be the easier, way down. Could it? it is so incredibly simple. Minimum effort, maximum impact that with these it. dies. Yeah. Really, it is. I sound like Gino De Campo. <laughs> Minimum, <laughs> minimum effort, maximum taste, except you're not going to eat it. Don't eat it, no. Gino, thank you for that phrase. Minimum effort, <laughs> maximum impact, in the words of Gino de Campo. Um, now, what I have done <sighs> is take the waste, you know, the waste pieces from oh, the yes. dye. I've just coloured them up, and what you can do is just stick them oh, I to how you've add done that. A, little, um, a little accent. So you've got, and use the Xyron, just yeah. run them through some sticky tape. I mean, you can use your dotty tape pen if you want to. This little tiny one I could probably do with a porky So tool. keep all of the die cuts in your gubbins keep box. Keep all isn't of it? the die cuts in your gubbins box. Now, I had a little sentiment somewhere, and yeah. it's good. Oh. oh, here it is. Got Found it. it. Got it. Um, and you can raise that up with some foam tape or a foam pad if you want to. Entirely up to you. You can put it flat. Helps if you take the lid off your glue. There we go. Um, and pop that on there. Sending love. It could be a Valentine's message. It could be miss you. It could be your important to me. Happy birthday. Doesn't really matter, Ben. But look, absolutely glorious. And oh. really, really beautiful. Simple. Simplicity. Yeah. It is simple. Do you know what? I reckon I'm going to um, might borrow that die to make some Valentine's cards yes. this year. Do it. It's so easy. It's very easy. And I'm a big fan of the matte and layer, and that's all it is, isn't it? Create your own background, bit of oh, matte and layering. Die does all the work. Yes. Could Def not be more easy. I'm definitely got to do two uh, Valentines this year. One for Mrs M, and then one, of course, for Debbie. Debbie Robinson. Oh, for the for the work, yeah, Mrs. Yeah, because she yeah. was really sort of you know, 
Was she? This year, because she made me one last year and I forgot about it. Oh, don't forget this year, but mm. put it in a reminder in your calendar. I will. Yeah. Um, do you know what? There's so many of you telling me already that you've ordered this. Um, Janice says, received my confetti dice this weekend. You got them on HSM where well, they literally sold out within minutes. I uh, cannot wait to try them. Uh, Kathy Myers has got her order in. Uh, Angela says, I didn't think I wanted these dies, but they somehow have jumped into my basket. I'm not surprised when you see how easy they are to use and how effective that um, die cut is and how easy it is to create cards that give you that wow effect. Um, Alison Lee says, I think classy simplicity applies too to these dies. Great when you need a card or box at the last minute. Um, and uh, Lynn just saying, oh no, not the raised eyebrow, heaven forbid. <laughs> It's a very scary raised eyebrow, my mm. whole family. In fact, it's not my son will say, oh, my word, did mum give them the eyebrow? It's, that's how well known it is in our wow. family. Wow. I know. Didn't make any difference, though, Ben. She's <clears throat> known me a long time. She knows it's all <laughs> superficial, the eyebrow. Um, I just want to show you, I've got a little oh, yes. uh, set of cards here, just in black and white just so I can show you some of the different ways that these can be used because I've just shown you a very simple card there but you know because they're in that lovely little border yeah. uh, frame I can show you uh, lots of different ways you can use them so you can see we've got them on a Z fold there we've got them here just on a little card front but of course you can do it as an easel Perfect. and have your little easel stopper to match that's the basic concept you've just seen me do for you do them on a double fold back gatefold. How fabulous is that? Yeah. Uh, look, all around the edge of a stepper card. Oh, that How... is brilliant. Isn't it brilliant, Ben? Now, this is what I mean about understated elegance and simplicity, but also very easy to use. It's that very fine border which makes the impact in the centre of the card, but then you can put it all around the outside of a stepper if you want to. Um, That's it's, incredible. Honestly, it's, they're genius. You are absolutely going to love. There's the beautiful doves. Yeah. When doves cry, Prince. Prince. Um, we won't sing it, or I won't, you can. You can no, sing I it. won't. Look at that's the heart border that I've just used there, Ben. That's incredible. Look, in a circle around the outside of a larger card. I love it. Isn't it gorgeous? Now, so, 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 so many different things you can do. There's a zigzag fold. Ah. Here we've just used it twice. You could put a little sentiment in the middle if you wanted to. Yeah. Here you've got one of those fancy fold backs there, which is absolutely gorgeous. Here we've got another little easel again, if you want to. You can start and do your Harlequin designs and put your cards um, backwards and forwards. How, oh, hang on, I'm never going to... Uh, Debbie Robinson does these. And, um, oh, that... What, uh, that one. That, yes, yeah, the TP card, isn't it? The, it's a, it's, 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 there we there go. There you go, yeah. There we are. You know folding's not me forty. <laughs> uh, there we are. Managed to do that at the last minute. And, of course, here we've got one of those Debbie Fisher specials. Yeah which she did as a craft along once so we'll watch a tutorial where you could do the different one on each panel if you want. Uh, the possibilities are endless, Ben. Do you know what? It's so good to see that because I don't know if you're like me at home as well and you, you kind of see the one way to use it and then you just become very set in that must use it that way, must use it that way. But then when you see the kind of um, concept suite there of all the different ways that you can incorporate these, I love the idea of like, like you've sort of seen there, multi-cutting these, creating your own um, backgrounds with them. How good was that stepper card used all the way around? Unbelievable. Uh, we are super busy for this collection. I'm not surprised. The amount of people who missed out on HSN, they're shopping with us. And those of you who have seen it for the first time, have got up early, you're shopping with us where over 10 percent of the showstopper deal has already gone inside the first half hour remember that's the best value for money everyone majority of people going for the showstopper where you get all of the six brand new dies and we're also going to give you um five of our um ballpoint glue pens they're included alongside three of our low tack tapes that would normally set you back around about 17 pounds 20 dollars but it works out today that you pay an extra five pounds five dollars and you get those added into the bundle for free super handy tools to go with this brand new collection so that's the way to go to get the maximum amount of um, uh, sort of value for money. £34.39 platinum. $41.99. If you do just want to go for the dies on their own, you can. Some people are taking that option, and that, of course, is absolutely fine. £30.39 for the full set, or $37.99. But as you can see there, for an extra £5, $5, you can get uh, £17, $20 worth of uh, product. It's 
however you want to play it, um, but I know what I would do. Lillian says, I love these dies. Stepper card is beautiful, says Lynn Blackledge. And so many of you just loving the simplicity of these, and that's what it's about. You know, if you're new to crafting, if you joined us on the uh, New Year New Craft, and you're looking for cards that are gonna make you look like an absolute pro, straight off the bat, then these. How easy was that? Choose your card, a bit of matting and layering, maybe create your own background. You know, if you've got um, papers already at home, you, you don't even have to create your own background if you don't want to. Layer these over a beautiful background, add a little sentiment, add uh, an embellishment, and away you go. You can take a look at these right here. Um, all of these amazing designs, the beautiful birds on there. They're doves, don't you know? You've also got the, uh, <laughs> you've also got the confetti sprinkles, which we love. This is the party time. There's balloons. Uh, there are um, beautiful sprinkles on there too. Uh, you're gonna get the scattered flowers. You're also going to receive the stunning dancing butterflies. And last but by no means least, you have just seen these stunning hearts on there as well. They are all amazing. The designs are fantastic. Do not miss out on these. 10% of the Showstopper deal is gone. Somebody was asking a few moments ago, it was Alison saying, morning all, will these dies work in the midi? Yes. yes. There you go. And yes. In the midi. They will. Mini or MIDI, and just by the way, we have got the MIDI on the show. Now, we are as shocked as you are, because uh, back in the last week, we had about five of these left in the business, um, and they sold out. The boat arrived. The boat arrived at the weekend, and we now have these back in stock for you. So if you were one of those people that missed out on the final few that we had, I think it was on, is it either Wednesday or Thursday these sold out? We are now telling you they're back in the business, which is fabulous news. My favorite of all of our machines is the one that I use at home, borrowed on a long loan from Craig. Um, it is so, so simple to use. And again, if you're new um, and you're looking for a die cutting and embossing machine, you don't want to spend a huge amount of money, but if you want to get, as far as I'm concerned, the best manual die cutting machine on the market, get this. You've got the power and precision of an electronic machine in manual, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, um, it's easy to use. You literally got your folder for your die cutting, couldn't be simpler, and then you've got your plastic shim there as well for your um, embossing, for your 2D embossing folders, 3D embossing folders will whiz straight through. Honestly, it's brilliant. It's a substantial weight but not heavy is the way I would describe it, so it's substantial enough to do the job. You've got the suckers on the bottom there as well, so you can pop it in place uh, wherever you're using it. It's a brilliant, brilliant machine. It really is. Of course, you know, you don't need the electricity with this either, so you don't have to plug this in, so if you're worried about, you know, um, spiraling electric bills um, you don't have to worry about that and it's so so super simple a wise man once said that this is simplicity without the electricity and also it's a great little um, companion for those of you that already have an electronic machine maybe you've got the um, the Gemini or the junior great for when you just need to do a quick bit of crafting and like so many of you that I know now who message me in the comments say you like to do some crafting late at night great for not waking up your partner isn't it? Yes, it's not absolutely. Make any noise. Do you know why I use mine? Um, I take mine to the caravan bin because I don't need to be plugging it in to electric. I can just do it on the picnic table outside, do it on my knee, do it in the van. Um, I mean, you, you know, <laughs> that was like that was like ventriloquism, Ben. <laughs> you should have been using your, moving your mouth when I was talking, and then that would have been hilarious. So we would have thought my voice was coming out of your mouth. I use it in the, on the picnic table. I use it, um, you know, like just in the van. I don't have to plug it into electric. You can use it wherever you want. But also great in the summer. I take it out into the garden if I'm doing a little bit of crafting. I yeah. don't have to be running a cable all the way through to the shed for some electric. Um, and just very, very portable. I think a lot of you like it as a backup to your electronic machine. It's a great starter yeah. to get somebody into. It's a perfect starter. But it's also great if you are a dedicated seasoned crafter just to have that there to whip something through really quickly and not have to put through your electronic machine mm. um, and you don't lose any of the performance that you get with your electronic machines it's a small manual machine but it packs a mighty punch it really does it's brilliant Michelle just saying love using my MIDI since I can't get to my electric machine due to organization um, I can craft 
anywhere, absolutely right. And Clark also saying, love my MIDI. Yes, MIDI appreciation uh, group. Let's get those comments in about how much you love yours. Um, Katie McQueen just also talking about the uh, brand new dice. Some of those would be good for a sympathy card. Not something we really like to um, talk about too much, is it? But yes, absolutely right. You know, hopefully you won't have to be using these for those type of cards. But again, if you do need to, yeah, they would be perfect for sympathy cards. Uh, Sandra, did the boat bring any dotty tape pens, Ben? Uh, uh, well, uh, producer Johnny is checking, uh, um, I don't think, but you never know. Uh, Rhiannon says, just placed my first order for the year. Yes, uh, these guys are amazing. The Showstopper bundle is a bonus. Uh, Catherine Folder saying, I've just ordered the confetti border dies, beautiful dies that can make beautiful cards in no time at all. You got, like, Leanne's got all the great sentences today, and now you guys are following suits with the snappy taglines. I love that. Beautiful dies that make beautiful cards in no time at all. I'll just do the voiceover for all of them. Fantastic voiceovers, Ben. Thank I need you. you to do my. I would. I please would like a voice message recording. In what style? Um. <laughs> we'll think about it. Okay. Like as if it was a as if it was a movie. Oh, like, like the trailer to a movie. Yes. Like a blockbuster. Yes. Do you know? You know the, like, like at the beginning of the holiday when they do that. Have you seen it with Cameron Diaz and she's recording the movie and they do that voiceover where it's very dramatic. Like one man. Like, yes. Like that. One chance. Yeah. Like that kind of thing. That yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. But on a vote for my answer phone message. Yeah. Yes, please. One woman. One answering machine. <laughs> one message. That, yeah. Oh, oh, maybe Liam Neeson. <laughs> I don't know I will you find are. you and I will kill you. <laughs> that, ben, can we do that? Can, I know it's a bit sinister. I know it's a bit sinister, but I just think it'd be very funny, do you not? I, I don't know who you are, <laughs> and I don't know what you want. If it's money, I have none. <laughs> but what I do have is a particular set of crafty skills. <laughs> this is what we'll do yeah. for you. That's what we need to yeah. do, please. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, okay, thank you. Okay, okay thanks. <laughs> <laughs> if you let my daughter go, that will be the end of the matter. <laughs> but if you don't, I will find you, and I will decoupage you. <laughs> Yes. yes, I love that. <laughs> yes, I'm lethal with a pair of snips, Ben. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. Don't we get onto some stuff? <laughs> Uh, I use my mini and midi more than my electric, says Julie Barlow. And Alana says, my mini and midi machine get more use than my electronic die cutting machine and embossing machines. They're great for quickness, portability, and they are child friendly. They are child friendly as well. If you want to do some crafting with the kids, um, fire away. Michelle says, thank you, Michelle. Ben is so good at his job. I swear he could sell riverfront property in the Saharan desert. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Very kind. Right, let us uh, move on to a Donner of a deal, half price deal on the Garden Gnomes uh, collection here. You're getting eight pieces from the set. It is, as you guys will know, my favourite paper pad that is included in this bundle. Uh, I said it before, I say it again. If they could take a smile and put it into a paper pad, this is what it would look like. It's such a joyous paper pad is this. And, you know, whilst all the aspects of this are going to work perfectly with all of the hardware that you're going to get with this collection, because you might think of this, oh, it's known, so I won't be able to use it with anything else. You absolutely will, because it's bright, it's bold, it's vibrant, it's, it's beautiful, and it's loads of perfect florals in here. The colours you're going to absolutely love. In the back, you're getting these pages of six by six scenes, which obviously are going to work perfectly with the garden gnomes, but if you've got any uh, character stamps and dies, you're going to have so much fun, and the kids will as well, building up uh, the scenes with those which are included within the back. So those are included, but then this is what I mean about the, um, the colours. The colours are beautiful, and not, do you know what I mean? Not too gnomified. Absolutely, they're going to work with the gnomes in the collection, but you're going to be using these elsewhere um, within your makes as well. It's just a really beautiful... Uh, collection. This reminds me of, um, oh, what's that sweet that you used to be able to get? Is it, was it? Um, oh, um, oh, you know the one oh, I mean. I do know the one you mean. Somebody will tell us. Yeah, they will. It will pop through to us. Was it a fruit salad? I think it was a fruit salad. Yeah. Fruit salad or refresher. A refresher. Yeah. But you can see what I mean. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's happy. It's just the most gorgeous paper pad. Uh, and you're going to get that within the collection. Now, on top of all of that, you get loads in this set. Um, you're going to get a beautiful uh, embossing folder with stencils. Now, again, this not only allows you to um, create this beautiful um, emboss. I think that's a 3D embossing folder as well, isn't it? 
I think. Um, but also you've got the um, stencils to put over the top of it to further enhance that. Of course, you can use these individually of each other as well. Then you get all of the characters and honestly, some of the best character stamp and dies that we've done because not only do you get the dies to be able to cut out the stamps, you get the stencils to be able to create their own little costumes. So maybe, you know, they've got day wear, night wear, whatever it might be. But you can personalize the little gnome. So the boy gnome, as it's called, he can be playing his ukulele. He's got his, um, his, his fishing rod out there. He's, he's doing the barbecue. I mean, he's, he's got Mrs. Uh, gnome, some flowers there as well. And talking about Mrs. Gnome, you get her included too. Gnome girl, Sven and Svetlana, I think we named these, didn't we? She's got her glasses on. She's got a hamburger that he's made in the barbecue. She's doing the gardening. She's built a little fire. She's even got a little... Um, Doing her schmores on the barbecue yeah, too. I love a schmores. A schmore. A schmore. Yeah. Schmore. No. Schmore. Schmore, Johnny, not schmores. She's not washing her schmores. She's eating the schmores. I love them. Do you know you can do them with digestive biscuits over here? Um, we... When we haven't got the graham crackers. We, Jake, it was me, Jake, and I think it was George, actually, the joystick. We tried to do it last year in the microwave in the kitchen with no, digestives. Do you know what you need, Ben? Mm. So I did this. I had a conveyor belt going in the old offices at Crafter's Companion because I was telling people that I had been making s'mores with my heat gun. What? Making s'mores with your heat gun? And I brought in the chocolate, the marshmallows, the digestives, and I made one for somebody. It's like, there you are. They were like, that's delicious. And then there was a queue at the kitchen. And I was there with my heat gun making 27 <laughs> s'mores <laughs> for a queue of people at the kitchen door back in the old offices at Cowden. Um, so if you... The microwave doesn't work as well. No. Because it goes all over the place. Yeah, it does. And you need to caramelise the marshmallow for it to be truly beautiful. Yeah. So um, heat gun, that's what I used. Well, there we go. I mean, not only crafting tips, but tips to make the best I truly s'mores. Actually, no, really. You are. I am the female version of Gino, I've decided. Mm. In my he, dreams. He posted a very funny video, I think it was over the weekend or the back end of last week, when he had a Gordon Ramsay mask on. Very funny. Did you yes. see that? Yes, I did. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, also, the set, all the accessories for your gnome. So, as well as the uh, the boy gnome and the girl gnome, there you've got the pond, and you know they've got the wheelbarrow. I like the fact that you've got the little sign there as well, so you can stamp your own sentiment onto it. You've actually got um, gnome home, which you can pop on there, which comes with it. There's the gnome caravan in there as well. Um, always think of Sarah when I see that with her favourite catch uh, line that she's got. Um, I am a gnome, and I live in a caravan. Really snappy that one. So, uh, yeah, great. Uh, then you've got the gnome swing. And again, the gnome swing is super cute because you've got, a, additional to the actual swing and the beautiful branch that it's on, you've got the ability to um, cut the little gnome's feet out and put the feet where you want. And you've got the little hands on the swing as well, which I think is so cute. And then to finish off, you've got a whole bunch of sentiments in there as well. So gnome sweet home, um, there's no one like you, there's no place like gnome and there's gnome better time than summertime 32 pounds 80 for all of that is an absolute bargain as far as i'm concerned it should be 84 pounds 104 dollars your 32 80 platinum 40 dollars 80 for shopping in the us what a buy uh quick few comments coming through and then we will uh get cracking a few of you just um, going on about what we could use for leanne's answer phone uh heather suggests i will find you and I will use my guillotine. <laughs> I like that one. Maybe I need several and that can change it depending on how I feel on the day. Exactly right. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. I'm, I'm very cheap. Thank you, Ben. I'll do you a batch load. OK. Um, you two are so much fun to watch, says Jill Johns. Thank you. Uh, and good morning, Leanne, uh, Ben, and my crafty peeps, says Karen Fisher. I'm starting to get excited. My craft room remodel Ooh. Ooh. is about 75% done. Oh, that sounds posh. We need some photos, don't we, when it's done? Yeah, send photos, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. And Zoe Carver says, I never had an electric machine. I got the MIDI for my birthday last October. It is great, so much better than my old manual machine. Cuts intricate dies well that the others wouldn't. Let us move on at a pace here. We are so busy this morning. You guys have tuned in. You, you're in for the preview uh, and snapping up the deals. If you want that confetti board as showstopper, you've got to be quick, producer Johnny tells me. Uh, but right now, let's have a look at this garden gnome set. This is a heck of a buy. What a joyous collection, isn't it? It is. A, I think I could not have said it better than you. You said Ben it's a happy collection mm. it's spring and summer 
in a card set, isn't it? And the yeah. price really is phenomenal. I thought I'd just show you some examples of what you can do, because we've looked at all that lovely product. Sometimes it's nice to see it and applique it. It's great to see it on the boards, you know what you're getting. But when I think, you, when you mm. see the cards you can make yeah. um, from that paper pad and all of those beautiful, beautiful items in there, then you really do appreciate how different every single one of them is going to be and um, how effective they are. Because look, this is that one collection that you've got there using the paper pad and the characters in different ways. And how different is every, I'm just about to drop that one. How different is every single one of these? They're beautiful, truly, truly stunning. Uh, this one I wanted to show you because she's in a swing. Oh. That's so cute. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. And if you love the fairy wings, fairy wings on her in the swing, just absolutely lovely. Him with his little ukulele. Look, a little wedding card. We're okay, going to have Mary. a look at that in a second as well. Um, using the patterned papers. Those background scenes in that pad, not just for the gnomes, you get so many of them in there. You're going to use them for all of the different characters you've got yeah. at home. You really are. Uh, they're absolutely glorious. So that's the kind of thing that you can start to make. Um, and not going out of fashion norms at all Ben no they've been around for a while and they've got to be around a while longer they had a bit because, of a resurgence didn't they yes they did and they're just they're just there they're just always going to be there hey dear Johnny sorry Johnny. I've got to feed this through Johnny's just said they're going gnomeware I mean he's got to get his kicks somewhere hasn't he <laughs> do you know what I mean he's got to try bless him uh, right, and he is very trying. Should we just leave? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm using my Tri Blend markers, um, and I'm just going to start colouring this in. So I've stamped them both in uh, alcohol proof ink onto some Nina Classic Crest, mm -hmm. and I'm just using my Tri Blend markers. So I'm going to get the lightest colour in first, and then you're going to move to the darkest colour over the the top of that because remember your wet ink dries so much better than uh, uh blends so much better on something that's uh, dampened rather than on dry card yeah then we go in with the darkest color from that set there then we take the medium tone blend that out to the hat just get a nice saturation in there uh, as you go saturating means that your coloring goes all the way through to the back back of the card that's yep. how that's what saturation means you get a better blend when you do that and then you'll go to the lightest color okay and you can do it all around the outside of the hat you can do it on an angle as i've just done it however you want the choice yeah. is entirely up to you but you're going to get that color on there and get the norm colored when you've colored him he's going to look like that <laughs> i love his beard and she's going to look like that isn't it good <laughs> do you want to see how to do the beard yes Right. Okay, so to do the bead, it's just very simple flicking motions. Okay. And I'm using the gold brown blend. So all I've done there is turn them upside down and then from under the nose and around the mouth, just little flicks down. Like this. Very easy top. Very easy to she's got legs, <laughs> but you can't see her legs. <laughs> Oh, yeah. She's got feet. <laughs> She's got feet and she knows how to, to use, use them. them. <laughs> <laughs> Here, dear. And then you take the middle colour. I'm sorry, I'm, we, ha we, have, we have made me laugh with that, Ben. I'm um, having a little chuckle with that. I think we're funny. I think I, I, you know, I, oh. I mean, I think we're hilarious, actually. Yeah, can someone please tell my wife? Yeah, <laughs> and my husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm taking the middle colour and I'm flicking down again from yeah. that dark colour, just into the centre. And you see I'm varying the length of the strokes. Yes. And then I go to the lightest tone and I do the same again, just vary the length of the stroke. So that's there. And you want it to be very textured because it is a beard yes. at the end of the day. And then turn it round, go with your darker colour again from the bottom up, little flicks. Hey, what, if I could grow a beard, I would definitely grow one like that. <laughs> I think it would probably take me about 40 years to grow something like my, that. My husband can't grow a beard. Same, same. No, he, he just can't. But my son, in two weeks, full beard. Oh, serious? Sit, or two weeks, full beard. Mm. Yeah, I, I, well, I've proven a couple of years ago, I can do a moustache. I can grow on my mm -hmm. top lip, but anywhere else on my face. Yes, yeah, Simon's the same, actually. Yeah. We did miss Movember last year, George. We did miss it. Maybe this year. 
I, say, I can always say to Laura, when I'm older, I'm, I'm gonna, I am gonna grow a moustache and just have that when I'm older. A moustache. Old man with moustache. With handlebars. <laughs> but you know what me, actually, I didn't, I didn't really think about that, but yeah, I think I might do that. So that's all I've done. Flick, flick in one direction, flick in the next direction, and that's it. That's yeah. a full ZZ beard. So once you've done that, you're going to use your dies. Now, your dies come in the set to cut them out. Um, would you like to see me cut one out? Because I've just coloured all of these pieces ready, uh, um, you can see there, because I've got other demonstrations that I want to do. Yeah. Shall I show you how to cut them out, Ben? If you're worried, it's up to you. I mean, yeah. don't, don't give me these decisions to make. I, I normally don't get asked about these sort of well, things. Well, cut I him don't out know. because they're all the same. Well, can I just tell you about the dress here? I've searched high and low here, and I can't find my stencil. In her set on your board, uh, Ben, in the stamp set, there is a little stencil. Yes. And oh, yes, the there little is. stencil lines up with the dress. If we just yeah. look at her, there we go. Yeah. The little stencil lines up with the dress and the hat, and then you just ink through it, and that's what puts the pattern on the dress. So yes. that's already there for you. Okay. Now, we're just going to take the outline die, um, and I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors, if I can see some. Yes, there. Perfect. They'll do nicely. Right, grab a pair of scissors. And I'm just going to roughly cut him out. Don't have to be too careful because we're going to use the die. Yeah. If I was cutting them all out, I'd just line up all the dies, but I'm not. So I'm going to put the die over onto my cutting plate and then use my repositionable tape because I definitely do not want this to slip. So you see, because we've left the die hollow, you can see where you need it to go to cut him out. Yeah. And then what I do is I just catch the card onto the mat okay across the edge of the die onto the spare card and back onto the mat so don't stick it over the piece that you've already colored because you don't want to catch that coloring off with the sticky on the back of your tape and then I'll do the same up here so I go from the plastic mat across the white card the edge of the die across the card again and that will keep that still enough and I haven't contaminated any of that lovely image that I've colored in then put your sandwich together and whap that through the machine very quickly. You could be putting it through your midi or your mini, actually, because these dies are small enough to work. Mini, midi, junior, Gemini. However you want to use them, the choice is entirely yours. And when you've done that, it's very easy to remove that uh, tape. Yeah. You can see because it's on the plate all the way over the side there. Just pick it up and peel it away. It hasn't gone across my colouring, so I'm not having to be careful. And then that cuts him out for you. Okay. Now, what I also do, because I'll just uh, mention that, Ben, I've got a little blue ink pad here somewhere. Here it is. And I'll get my little blending tool, because yeah. when you colour these in, sometimes you might have a little a little white edge around okay. the outside. You see the little white edge around the outside? Yeah. Just to make that look less harsh and look like part of the design what a good thing to do is is just to get your harmony water reactive and a little blending tool and just go around the edge of uh, that okay. and it takes the harshness away and just makes it look like there's a little shadow on there so i've done that on on the ones that i've got ready to start assembling so that's what i've done for all of those pieces colored them cut them out and then done a little bit of blending around the outside you can draw around it with a marker if you don't want to do the blending with harmony water reactive you haven't got your ink pads yet take a pale blue pen <laughs> try blend and just draw around the end yeah if that's what you want to do it's a, entirely up to you personal preference however you would like to do it okay once you've got all that done let's get all these pieces out the way you can start to assemble so what i've got here is a nice square larger um, centura card base Lovely. i've used my a3 centura that we had on um when we were on what was a couple of weeks ago now ago, yeah um i've got that yep. and i'm using that as my card base and then i've done my matting and layering again so i've done a black mat then a lovely uh, glitter layer and then a piece of that uh, the, one of those lovely scenes from the paper pad but just to show you what this is what i always do i gut the back because it's a waste of your excellent yeah. cardstock. Don't Absolutely. waste your good cardstock. I'd like to leave a nice border to stick it, but then look here, I've got a good six by six piece there to use on another card. So do gut, and actually could have probably gut the glitter card as well. Yeah. I was being a bit extravagant. Right, so I've just got my Kalal All Purpose. You could use your tape pen if you want, but as we know, this is my favorite. 
the best glue in the world. It is. It gives you a bit of wiggle time as well, doesn't it? Gives you a bit of wiggle time. Sets like concrete. Yep. Nothing's going to dry out in the central heating with that. There we go. So I've got that in place. Um, and now I've got my uh, people. I'm just going to get my foam pads. Where have they gone? They were here a second ago, Ben. Oh, dear. Uh, well, Honestly. So we're here a second ago. Whilst you're looking, yes, there's a few comments you. coming yeah, through. Them. Oh, you got them. I found them. Um, anyway, Je uh, Ke Jelly? Kelly, not Jelly. Kelly says, I adore this collection and I encourage you all to get it. The gnomes. Um, and Zoe says, question, Ben, would you, oh, would you grow a Magnum moustache or Poirot? Oh. Well, Magnum. Yes, Magnum PI, all yeah. the way, has to be. Yeah. 1970s, 101, 101. 1191, what is it? The you know the advert where they've got their little short shorts? Oh, uh, 118, 118. 118, 118. Got your number. Yes, that one. Yeah. Um, I did in the first lockdown, actually, um, aside from, it wasn't November, just in the first lockdown, I did grow um, a uh, moustache and I have a lot of Hawaiian shirts, as you may or may not know, and I was parading round and um, pretending to be Thomas Magnum in my village. Uh, my wife wasn't really very impressed. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. A poor, a poor man's uh, Thomas Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was trying to be funny because you know she was calling me she she said Magnum more like funny foot because she was it's not funny but let me explain to you so you have Magnum as in the ice cream don't you and yes. so you also have the funny feet ice cream as well so she it's not I don't know why I told that story um, she was calling me funny foot rather than Magnum uh, even though I thought I did look a lot like Tom Selleck um, just whilst you're uh, sticky there as well CJ's paper crafts has a question. Uh, and wants to know uh, what kind of crafter's companion acetate could you use to stabilise an aperture without making a shaker card? Oh, um, construction acetate. Construction, yeah. Construction. I would just always say construction. That yeah. is the best one to use because the heat resistant and the inkjet are more for colouring on. They're not very stabilising. It's more for the see-through effect. Yeah. For stabilising, you want your construction acetate. Good. Excellent. Keep the questions coming through. If you've uh, got any more you want to fire our way, you can do. Um, but I think we're just going to pop this little scene together now, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we are. Absolutely. So I've just been putting a little bit of red liner tape on the back of my little lady norm here because this is going to be a wedding card. Oh, yes. And I've just cut a little piece of lace, and what I'm going to do is make her a little veil. Oh, how cute I'm is not, that? Isn't it cute, then? Lana's going to have a veil. Yes. So look, I'm going to and I'm going to fold it up. So I'm doing it a kind of a little ruche. Yeah. If that makes sense. So little pleats, 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 pleats. Pleat, pleat, pleat. What is that? That is just a bit of lace. Just from a your little piece of lace. Gubbins box. Just out from anywhere. I mean, if you know, if you can't find any, I'm sure you. Your nan won't mind you lopping a bit off that net <laughs> at the kitchen window. <laughs> but don't tell her I said no. to do it. No. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> yes, go around your nan's house. <laughs> and lop a, a bit, bit off her net in the kitchen. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, so, look, she's got a lovely little veil now. Oh, she, oh look, it's that with her veil. Right, so I'm going to put her on the... Uh, yeah, canny lake. Dead canny Aye. with a couple of little foam pads. Now remember, if you're using foam pads, I want foam pads for dimension. But what do you always have to do? What? Sorry. <laughs> what do you always have to do when you use a foam pad? In mine? Oh, put a bit of glue on the back. Yes, you do, Ben. Sorry. Yes, concentrating there. Always. Because... And I'm going to use a bit of hot glue this time. Oh, uh, okay. Because I've got that extra dimension of that lace, mm. um, and I want the the extra texture of the lace, which could be tricky. And I want the dimension of the foam pad, but I want a good solid stick. So a tiny okay. dot of hot glue will do that for you. So there she is. She's waiting for her groom. However, uh, she's a modest... Did you call her Svetlana? Svetlana, yeah. I love that, Ben. Svet I... She's a modest Svetlana. A model? Modest. Oh, modest Svetlana. Yeah. So uh, she's mm. having a little veil as well. Uh, so I I've see. got another little piece here, look, which has got a little bow tied at the top. A little bit of hot glue. <laughs> I'm bluffing today already. <laughs> yeah. A bit of hot glue there. And then her veil can go there. Yep. So she's ha oh <clears throat> look. Look at her. Oh, it's too much. She's isn't a it? picture, isn't she? Now here he is. Yeah. ZZ. Give me all your loving. All, all your hugs and kisses, kisses too. That's perfect for a wedding card. <laughs> isn't it? Eh? Isn't it? Um <laughs> She's got 
out of feet. <laughs> <laughs> that has just cracked me up. She's got feet Literally. and she knows how she to knows use them. She knows how to use them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, what you like. What my like. Right, <sighs> and there he is, our little groom. Yep. Zizi. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he's going to be ZZ now going, yeah. for going forward um, and we've got this lovely little branch yeah. and she's got her little um, floral bouquet there so I'm going to have a little foam pad on the back of there yeah do you know what you have such so I think what this will do see what a lovely time you and I've just had putting this together this collection just makes you feel happy Ben it does make There's you feel happy no two ways about it and I just think it's the characters, it's the beautiful colour scheme, it's how much creativity you can express by the scene that you build, it's the story that you want to tell when you do that. That's all just part of being creative and this set will do that for you. It's just a feel good yeah. um, crafting collection and if your mojo has got up and gone because sometimes our mojos do it happens then this set will reinvigorate that for you because you can't fail but to have a lovely time with it and to um your for your creativity to go wild absolutely i almost feel like you could cut the guy again and like do him in black and give him a little white dog color under his beard you could have the yes, zipper there as well you could you? yes On you could steps. absolutely you could that's a next time i'm doing next that that's time, brilliant yeah. So hot glue on the back of there, remember, because I'm using foam pads. Never just a foam pad directly. <laughs> I love her veil. It's fabulous, isn't so it? She's good. modest. She um, is. There we go. And then we've got... Mm. She's going to do the big reveal. Yeah. She's gonna, we, should, we should have put it on her feet. <laughs> I've got yeah. feet. I know how to use them. <laughs> he do you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, foam pads on the sentiment, bit of hot glue, stick by my own good rules on the yep. back of the foam pads. And then we've got there, celebrate the day. And you've got a really <coughs> cute, happy, feel good little wedding card there with those characters on, uh, with her little veil and her Nana's nets for her train. Do you know what? As much as I love the I love the new confetti borders and I love that first card. That I mean, again, that is sort of night and day, really, isn't it? The two different types of card. But how much fun is that collection? And like we said, you know, if you love crafting with uh, the little ones as well, it's the kind of set that uh, they can have a lot of fun with. Particularly for the fact of I'll just very quickly show you the boards again. I'll just quickly whiz through these. Particularly for the fact, as Liam was describing as well, with each of the characters, you do get these little stencils, so you can create, you know, kind of bespoke costumes for them as well, which I think is absolutely brilliant. And, and again, you know, you can put her in lots of different situations. She can be doing the gardening, she can be eating a hamburger, she can be stoking the fire, she can be watering the flowers. There's so many th different things you can do with this set. And again, with ZZ, as he's now known, uh, you've, th you've then got him with his sunglasses on, he's got his uh, fishing rod out, he's playing the ukulele, he's barbecuing. So many different things that you can do. And again, th with that stencil there, you can really, really um, change these up for whatever the occasion is. You get a lovely set of sentiments included as well. And all of those, I say all of them, the majority them are kind of like gnome themed so they work beautifully with this set then you can put your two different characters on that swing as well with your gnome swing both of uh, the, the uh, zz and svetlana will uh, will go on there yeah, they got that gnome caravan as well so you know once they've got married they can jump in the caravan and go off on their honeymoon and then you've also got the little garden gnome accessories in there too so you can add even more little adventures i always feel like this as well if you're crafting with the kids you could always make your own little gnome storybook with this couldn't you a little gnome little gnome adventures going do you know, on so there. Have, do you know that's what an exceptional idea ben because mm. you could cut them out of felt and make your own little fuzzy felt love set. it but you could just cut out the pieces, colour them together, and then have them make up their own story. A bit like dress your own dolls. Yeah. With those little scenes. So much you could have. I really like that idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, me coming up with the great ideas today. Yeah. It's very good, Ben. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Um, yes, gnome accessories. You've got your scenes in there as well with that beautiful embossing folder and the um, mass and stencils. And then you've got the best. 12 by 12 paper pad, as far as I'm concerned, in the business, it's a smile in a paper pad. It's all about those beautiful gnomes. Don't forget as well, you've got all of the scenes in the background as well. So that's the one that Leanne just used on the, um, the wedding card there. But you get uh, one, two, three, is it four, five?
five, six, six of the scenes in the back there. And then all of these absolutely sumptuous, gorgeous, vibrant, happy, double-sided papers. This is the pad that you want to turn to if you're looking you know, to come out of this sort of miserable, cold, dark winter and you're looking for bright, vibrant papers to use for your spring summertime cards. Look no further, friends. It's a half price deal on this collection. It is incredible. It's flying. As much as the brand new launch is disappearing, this is going as well. You guys have seen the value for money and actually just seen what a happy set this is for £32.80 or $40.80 if you're platinum. Also worth bearing in mind, uh, the multi-purpose cardstock is flying out of the door. You guys have spotted this deal. Um, it is uh, a craft room staple, a craft room essential that you're going to be using day in and day out. Um, A4 size, 60 sheets in each. Buy two of these, 120 sheets, will give you another 60 sheets for absolutely nothing. It's no wonder that we can't keep this in the business because we, we give it away for free. Uh, £20.78 platinum or $28.78. Stock up on it because you've seen well, the A3 came and went, didn't it? And it will, the same will happen with the uh, the A4 as well. Even if you think you've got tons in stock now, you know how many cards you're making and boxes and all sorts, get more than you think you need, have it stocked up, and then you've got it uh, for when it does go out of stock. And guaranteed, it will go out of the stock just the time that you need it. So get it now whilst we've got it on such a great deal. Right, lots of you with unchecked carts and baskets. We're an hour, an hour through the show already. How did that happen? So let's take a short break. We'll give you opportunity to check out. Uh, we'll check for any questions and comments. And when we come back, more from this amazing brand new launch, this confetti board as you guys are loving. Uh, and Leanne's got some more inspiration coming up after this short break. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a no man I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. Uh, that wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time, so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. <laughs>
welcome back everybody. Lots of you checking out your baskets. It is a very busy wake up call. Uh, lots of you shopping. Lovely to have your company. Uh, lots of you getting in touch as well. Um, we're having a lot of fun. It always makes me laugh when um, I see the comments come through and it reminds me of like some of the stuff that we've chatted about on the show today. Um, so Kate says, I'm a fan of a mini milk ice lolly. Oh, lol. Oh. Mini milk. Mine, Ada loves them. Are they still a thing? Yeah, I buy a box full. She got them in the thing and she goes to the freezer and goes, mook, mook, which is milk. Mook. Mook. And she, that means she wants the mini milk out of the freezer. Mmm. 15 p. Johnny said back in the day, weren't they? Of course. Get strawberry ones now and no, chocolate. You, okay. Yeah. Johnny's just gone in my ear. <gasps> yeah, I've got them in my freezer. Do you know what? I've got to run to the supermarket in between times because I wasn't organised this morning to bring any lunch in, so I might, uh, I might have a look in the freezer section. Nice. There's some mini milks. Mini milks. <gasps> What's that? Oh, yeah, sorry. And I'm going to take my square sausage out of the freezer as well. It is still there. Craig bought me some square sausage back from Scotland and I haven't taken it home yet. Um, Rhonda's laughing about the beards and ZZ Top. She says, my husband grew up in the same neighbourhood as Billy Gibbons. He's a nice guy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Has he got legs? <laughs> and the question is, does he know how to use them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Emma, talking, we're talking about schmores, says, um, chocolate hobnob schmores are fab. Schmores. Not schmores, Ben. I always do like Sean Connery. It's just s'mores, isn't it? S'mores. S'mores. Not... It, because it's small. I want some more. Yeah. That's why they get s'mores. I don't know why I go s'mores. 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 Oh, yeah. It's just Sean Connery. Yeah, it's Sean Connery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was to say very quickly, I know I'm going off topic here, but my, um, my, uh, my wife's um, started painting my son's room. She's been desperate to do it. I, I think I should have done it, but she's waited and I haven't done it. So she finally <laughs> started painting. And then um, she was like, oh, I'm going to buy some, uh, like a little shelving unit as, as well. Um, he's got loads of bits and pieces in there. So she got it the other day from Amazon. And then she said, um, she said oh, I'll, I'll put this up. I said, oh, um, I said, do, do you, uh, do you um, want me to help you do that? Or are you going to do it by your shelf? <laughs> <laughs> and I was laughing. And she just looked at me. Oh. That's all I got. <laughs> See, I thought that was funny. You do it by yourself. Do you do it by yourself? Oh, dear. Ben, that was very shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, That's so ben, funny. Thank you so much for making me laugh and smile. It's really nice to relax at the end of my day with you both, as uh, Sarah in Australia. Well, lovely to have you with us. And quick question before we move on. Anne says, Leanne, I've got a question. I'm having trouble with alcohol-proof ink, beads or pools on my stamp, leaving uh, image lines dotty, despite me cleaning and drying it. What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. All that, all what, what is happening there is the residue, it'll be an acrylic stamp, because they're the only stamps that that happens with. And the residue from the manufacturing process is still on your stamp. And we just need to get that off. A couple of ways you can do that. You can do it with some um, rubbing alcohol, alcohol, some isopropyl, uh, nail varnish remover, acetone free. You can get an eraser that you use for a lead pencil, rub the eraser all over the stamp. That will clean off the manufacturing residue. The other thing you can do is pre-ink it with a watermarking pad and then put your alcohol proof on top and it'll fix it for you. There you go. Comprehensive answer. Always a great day when Leanne's in and Leanne is with us all day. If you have any questions, I mean, don't, don't think they have to be specific about what we've got on the show. If there's any craft related questions, anything you're struggling with, anything you want to ask, it's a great day to ask when Leanne's in. All right, so do feel free to, uh, to shout up and get in touch. Let us have a look at the confetti border dies. Um, over 20% of the showstopper deal has gone now. When you consider it, it's only just gone seven o'clock East Coast, uh, just gone 4 a.m. Pacific. That represents a huge amount of the showstopper gone. I knew this would be popular. As Leanne was telling us at the start of the show, this barely made it to air on HSN. And when we previewed this on the HSN preview show the, um, the Saturday before, or the Sunday before, th this was the one that got the most comments. This is the one that you guys were most excited about, and it's proving so today. The showstopper deal is all of these amazing dies here giving you um, this really uh, beautiful effect this confetti effect um, of all of the different characters I mean we've got um, balloons in here and flowers and birds there's, there's a whole host which I'll take you through on the boards but you're gonna get all three of those um, different designs all six of those different designs I should say and then for free not for free get it right Ben of course it's been going so well today so far for an extra five pounds or five dollars you're going to get five of our um, ballpoint glue pens and you're going to get three low tack tapes basically that is uh, 17 pounds 20 dollars worth of value that you're getting for an extra 
five within the bundle. Uh, platinum price is 34.39 or 41.99. If you want to go for the confetti border dies on their own, you can, but that's the best way to get the best value for money and everyone going for the showstopper. Take a look at these and whilst the boards don't do them justice really, you kind of just get the idea as to um, what these are going to create for you. And, and I'll tell you what as well we'll do, and I'm sure Liam will, will show us in just a bit. We need to look again at the, um, the concept suite on these because I, I look at these and go, okay, so I can go portrait, landscape, they look amazing, but there's so many more things that you can do with these as well. Um, you're going to get in here beautiful uh, confetti, such a cool effect there. It's almost like, like you know, little confetti gun's gone off and that confetti is spraying through the air. You've got the party time, which is balloons and stars and more confetti confetti through there. Love this one as well with the uh, beautiful scattered flowers. So you've got something for all occasions really for birthdays and celebrations. And as um, it was Kate mentioned earlier on as well, you know, even some in here for sympathy cards as well. Beautiful butterflies in there too. Again, once you die cutting these through, make sure you keep all of the, um, the die cuts from the apertures to use maybe in your shakers or like Leanne did earlier on to use as like little extra embellishments elsewhere on the card. And then you've got the beautiful happy hearts in there too, which would be perfect for that day, which is rolling around in what just over three weeks time valentine's day will be here before you know it such a gorgeous set very very classy and like i said you know i love the um the gnome card that we saw but that first card that the am made just a little bit of matting layering creating your own uh, inky background layering one of these over the top adding a sentiment adding a um an embellishment beautiful classy elegant simplistic but look the real deal 34 pounds 39 platinum 41 dollars 99 um let us go back over to liang because i know she's got another um demo up her sleeve and uh looks like yes you're fishing out some of the concepts as well aren't you i am i'm fishing out some of the concepts because i found the foam pads that i lost earlier by the way ben i'd put them in the packet with the sun oh never mind yeah, never, never mind. mind so um with your confetti border dies so many different things you can do and i've just been fishing out like you said some of those concepts because i think when you can see how many different things you can do with them mm. that is what really then brings them to life isn't it so you can see there that's on a plain just quarter fold from a sheet of cardstock little confetti border in there white on white lovely sentiment you don't need anything else really yeah but of course you can do your lovely matting and layering and that design will pop and because of that beautiful little border you can use them for the little stepper on your easel card as well we can do two of them because they're that lovely fine design which doesn't have too much metal around the outside of it and by that i mean like this so we haven't left big squares of metal everywhere you can see for the positioning you can start to put them on either side that then allows you to put them on a zigzag card Very if you cool. want to that then allows you to put them onto the z of a z fold card i know our, our debbie robinson is going to be losing her <laughs> mind over these i'm sure if she's watching she'll be like i wish i had that surely am um and then we've got them all around the outside of a large card Love there it. you can see you can do one of those little center steppers where you've got them in the front and then the two backgrounds your favorite bear this is the one look at this and i think you're right that really does show how incredibly versatile yeah. they are being able to put them around the three edges of a stepper card like that it's fantastic isn't it you can do your double fold back for your gate folds with them you can do your little center panel pop out where you've got the little wings on it there if you want to the possibilities are endless ben they really are and that's not all of the concepts suite. that's no. just some of the things you can do and it is because it's that fine little confetti border mm. which allows you that multiple positioning uh, allows all of these concepts to be possible for you yeah absolutely right and, and again i think it's so nice just to see that concept suite because it if you might be like me you might not be but as i say i, I see a die or see a concept and think well oh, that's the only way i have to use it but there's multiple ways as you've seen there that you'll be using these dies to create the most stunning cards and um, we're going to go back to that and have another look at these the, the official launch of them is at two o'clock this afternoon where we have got a jam-packed show full of um demonstrations the showstopper's flying though so don't wait until two o'clock to get it make sure you grab it now which of the dies are you going to use next Leanne? i've got the hearts again ben oh look at you i know i should have done it we've got we've got different designs coming up in the Later. launch show but yeah because i've done the demos didn't think about it very cleverly because i did the first one with the heart but then i want to show you how you can make a full background lovely and i've done it with the hearts again yeah. so i'm going to show you how to do that so this is what we're going to do and i'm going to show you how so i'm just using my heart border again 
and because it's really quite random this time what I do is I start in the center first now you might need depend we'll see how we go I use my Gemini plate to do this at home yeah um, so we might need to swap to some Gemini plates rather than the junior plates but we'll just see but you'll get the idea anyhow so I'm just taping that bottom and top because I don't want it to move I want the rest of the space so I can start moving my uh, border around and I'm going to run it through also Ben I'm not going to run it through seven times because you don't need to watch me doing that no I'm going to show you how and then you'll be able to do it yourself at home so I'll run that through and then remove my tape just gently mm -hmm. there we go and here let's get my nail under it roll it back gently there we go and then all you do I'm just going to get the little pieces out because I'm going to need them in a second there we go then what we do is just decide from that point if I bring this in you'll see what I mean decide from that point where I'd like the next piece to go uh, okay. doesn't always have to be the same way so no. actually I can turn that round there and lie that on and that would be quite nice that nests there quite nicely oh we're not so, always worried about getting the whole no. die on don't always worry about getting the whole thing on you can just you choose your next place and you can turn it round you can nest it in this way so you see I could have two big hearts nesting alongside each other in fact let's do that and you'll see that happen uh, but don't always worry about having the whole border on the card let it hang off the sides because if you let it hang off the sides that's how you create a true random background yeah. I'll put this one through and then I'll show you the next piece uh, and I think it's good to see that so you, a little bit easier with a bigger plate so if you've got a Gemini machine uh, you'll have more space to do the angling if you've got a junior like I'm using here you see it's still possible you'll just need to have a little bit more of a think about where you're going to put it and you know Ben I'm using tape to tape this down yeah this is a random background so it doesn't matter if you're not using the tape so you see there how I've been able to nest those two hearts upside down mm. and it starts to build the background done exactly the same here and if I just put the die over the top you'll see there's one there yeah and then that is this edge here uh -huh. like that you see how that fits over so it's turning your die around and around and around and just putting different there's that bit there just putting different bits on the card and even here look that's just doing that yeah so bringing it in into all of the different areas, running them through and cutting it, you get that really beautiful, eclectic, full confetti background, which is really, really lovely. And I'm not doing anything else to that, but what I am going to do is take a piece of gold cardstock okay. and cut it from gold. And you'll see why in a second. And this is why the bundle that we've put together for you with the repositionable tape and the quickie glue pen yeah. is so incredibly useful because I'm going to use the quickie glue pen next in the demonstration. What I'm going to do with these gold pieces is use the waist, not the cutout. And they're the little hearts to do some paper piecing in. Lovely. And your quickie glue pen is absolutely perfect for doing that. So off with your tape to stop it moving. And then when I take this out, take it out carefully, because I don't need that. You can use that though, yeah. as another piece on another card. It's these pieces that I want. There we go. So if you just drop it flat, now I've got all of these little waste pieces that I can use for paper piecing yeah. in a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop them to the side and come back to them in a moment. There's a tiny one, there we go. Right, so I've got all my little pieces ready. So now it's just to assemble, Ben. Now what I'm doing is a, a diagonal easel fold yep. card. So I've done that. So that's a square, scored diagonally on the front, folded back. That's all you need for that. And then to create the base, I've again done some matting and layering. So you want a white piece of card, exactly the same size as your base. And then I've done a gold mat and a red layer. And that's going to get stuck on here. Now, this is definitely a case of do as I say, not as I do. Okay. Because in the past, I've just gone glue, stuck it down, it won't bend. Yes. So always put your glue onto the card, not onto your mat and layer. It's so, so helpful when you're doing this design because if you put your glue here, you know it's in the right place. Yeah. Uh, and you're not going to stick the whole card down flat. I've done that many times in the past myself. So it's a case of 
learn by my mistakes and save yourself some cardstock. Nice. There we go. So we've got the all purpose on there. And then you can take your full piece and lie that flat to get it perfectly lined up. And just rub to stick that down. But that, that means that it folds up beautifully because your glue was only on the quarter yeah. that you needed it to be on. And you can see that that stands up there. Now, I've also, on the base of my card, done another matte and layer to match. So that's the gold and the red. So that's matching the front of the card. That can go on there ready. I've done a lot of the gluing of the mats and layers together beforehand so you don't have to watch me doing that but I'll just explain them to you yeah. so now the inside of the card matches the outside uh -huh. there we go that falls up there so the front of my card now is going to have this that looks so on the good. Front. and it just pops doesn't it with it that really red does. behind now I uh, will take my all-purpose because I want the maximum stick but can you see I'm being very selective yeah about how I put this on. Okay. So I'm going into the four corners, tiny little bits, yeah. and then I'm doing the little trails all around the outside. Now, the great thing about this is because it's all purpose, if when you put this down, any of the glue does come to those holes, yeah. you've got that time to rub it away, haven't you? Yeah, it yeah. doesn't ruin your cardstock. So oh, perfect for that. So glue in a few of those little places, all purpose, pop that down. Now, you could use your dotty tape pen for that, uh, but honestly, Ben, for a large background piece like that, I feel it's a waste of my dotty tape pen. Exactly right. There's enough uh, places to be able to glue yes, it with you. Yes, there's enough places to get your glue in. Save yeah. your dotties for when you actually need them. Don't waste it for something like that. So now I've got that on the front there, which is great. The inside of my card, I've taken my, I've taken my border and I've just cut one single pass you can see them trying to pick the die up one single pass of the border through there and that's going to be on the inside when you're going to put this down this is another lesson from me <laughs> um, because i've put it back to front so many times open the card yeah and then see which way it needs to go uh, i see before you put it before you commit because i have done that before and it's been the wrong because i thought it was the right way and it wasn't does that make sense it does make sense so again with that all purpose best glue in the world yeah um, just rub that around and that's going here so that's inside my card now love it I'm definitely copying this or the one from earlier for Valentine's for Valentine's they're brilliant it's pretty isn't it yeah right so that's down there now um, and I've got a little sentiment that I'm going to I can't decide if I want it on the front or not I'll make that decision in a minute now what we're going to do is place I'm just going to grab a porky tool Ben um, where is the porky tools mm. Oh, Ooh. someone nab the pokey tools. No pokey tool. I can grab you one if you want. Um, yes, please, Ben. How did they go missing? Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, uh, there's a craft. Got a craft knife, Ben. Oh, no, You're right. No. No. Sorry, Ben. I'm, I'm going. Thank I'll you, be ben. back. I'll come back here so we'll both have disappeared and talk to you. So I'll show you what we're going to do. While Ben's doing that, I've got my little quickie glue pen, and I'm just going to make sure it's running. So if you haven't used your quickie glue pen for a while, this is a little top tip. What you want to do, the roller ball, just push the roller ball inside and give a little scribble and that will get your glue going. Thank you, Ben. Welcome. I might need one of your glue pens as well. You, oh, you're welcome. I'll get, give, you, give you one of those. Yes, please. This, one was, right. this one's not doing... <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> no, I, I quite around, enjoy it. Running around this studio. That's all right. There you go. One of me glue pens as well. Thank you. Please get me steps in today. I haven't been to the gym. So. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful. Welcome. I think the lid hadn't been put on properly there. So give this a little roll around. These are brilliant, these glue uh, pens they as well, are. aren't they? They're yes, quite they new, are. aren't they, to the company? They are. They yeah. haven't been going very long at all. Right. So you're going to pop a little bit of glue. Let's see if I can get this going. Maybe it's me, Ben. Might be. I tell you what. We got another one. Another one. one. <laughs> I'll so bring them all over. Yeah, thanks, Ben. I'll bring them all over. Whilst you're getting one going, I can read some comments as well. Thank you. That's all right. 
Oh, I shouldn't be out of breath, should I, getting across the studio? A uh, few co uh, comments coming through just whilst we are um, uh, waiting. Michelle says, lovely background, using the confetti dye uh, made. Um, Robbie Hedrick, hello Robbie, says, I really like these swirly dyes and you can keep the cutouts for confetti or filling in just for an accent. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what we're going to see. That's why I love these, and hopefully it's kind of like set in your mind as well as to um, how easy it is to work with these, but how effective they are as well. Definitely definitely going to be doing um, some Valentine's cards with these. Uh, and Christian Thomas says, so excited to see these dies at work. Just got them from HSN this weekend. Well done, Christian, because I know quite a lot of you did uh, try and get those from HSN the weekend, but they've been so super popular. They have absolutely flown out of the door. You can get them with us though. Worth bearing in mind that the um, showstopper deal, 25% of the stock has now gone. So if you decide that you want to jump in and grab that uh, then do be fairly quick because you, what you've got to consider is we're 424 pacific time 724 a.m uh, eastern so a lot of people are still going to be in bed and you always get a bit i, I tend to get a bit of um, an idea as to how popular it is from a wake-up call and the fact that i'm telling you a quarter of the stock has already gone tells me that when we come around to two o'clock and you know uh, the u.s rest of the u.s begin to wake up this set is going to absolutely fly out of the door it's going to disappear so the showstopper uh, should be at the top of your list of grabbing so 34 pounds 39 is the platinum price $41.99 if you're shopping in the US. And it basically means on the showstopper that you're gonna get the glue pens and the uh, low tack tape. So that's 17 pounds or $20 worth of product that you're picking up for just five pounds or five dollars um, if you're shopping with us today. Actually, yeah, even less than that if you're a platinum member, it works out even less uh, than that. Betty says, uh, loving the Leanne and Ben Love Leanne and Ben days. Oh, thank you. So much info and singing. You are a great combo. You know, we like to bring the fun. We like to bring the um, the lighter side of life to this um, oh, name for a show there. Well, well, they always say, don't they, you know, you, you, we should be bringing the um, education, which we do. We should be bringing the entertainment, which we do. There was another E as well, but I can never remember what that is. It was the three E's. Anyway, we bring two of the three. And as Meatloaf said, Two out of three. Ain't bad. Ain't bad. Um, how are you getting on? Um, I've put my little dots of glue in. We got yep. going. We got going, Ben. And now what I'm doing is uh, picking up my little hearts that I cut out from the gold. You can see there. Yeah. Um, on the glass match top there. There here we are with my porky tool, and that lets me just position them in. So okay. I just pick them up and pop them in. You only need the tiniest <clears> dot <throat> in there to keep those still. Yeah and then leave them still to dry. Porky tool helps you get it in place. That's it. Use a smaller one there. So you're just gonna pick a few. You don't need to do them all. No. Because um, you just want it to be a little accent. So just a few of them. I mean, you can do them all if you want, actually. It's entirely up to you, it's yeah. your card. I'm just gonna do a couple. It'd take a while, wouldn't it? It would take a while. <laughs> just a few You know, good. but it might, you might find it therapeutic or cathartic. Yeah. So you're gonna put a few of those in, and then you've got some choices, Ben. So I'm gonna show you my finished card, yeah. and then you can decide what you would want to do. So I've got this word love here from the Xyron. You could have it on the front. Yeah. Or you could oh. use it inside. I think I might use it inside oh. for a little change. Okay. So I'm going to take that off. I was going to say front, but you know. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. It's your Which is in the front on the main one. I'm going to show you the difference. Okay. There we go. So you can have love there, mm -hmm. and then you could put your little stopper uh, up here, yes. and have that as a stopper there. Yeah. Um, I've put a little ribbon on the front of the one that I've got ready for you here. Look, you can see that. Let me open that up for you. And I did use the word love there yeah. on the front. Um, and then what I did was I cut another forever yours sentiment out and uh. put that there. And then this little heart here yeah. is raised up on foam pads. Oh, that's such a great and idea. And that's creating the stopper for your easel. I really like that because I was going to, because I was thinking, oh, you're going to like, um, mask your sentiment but that's so yeah. clever because normally you think stoppers have to be big but yeah they don't they, they can don't. be tiny it just needs to stop it from falling down and there you go so you can use a tiny pretty little confetti border to make a whole beautiful background if you want to so you can use them as simply or as elaborately as you would like the choice is entirely yours i love that so brilliant. Do you know what as well, and I, I'll always say this, you know, I do a, a little bit of crafting here and there, particularly with my daughter. 
I could make that. And the yes. first card that Leanne made, I could make that. It was proper, like, easy, accessible craft, but isn't the finished product absolutely stunning? This is the point, and a lot of you have talked about, it's really classy, um, it's, it's really beautiful. I love, like, the stripped back sort of nature of these as well, um, but it's, it's achievable for all. That's the thing, and that's why I think so much of the showstop has already gone, because even our sort of newer crafters, our beginner crafters are going, oh, yeah, I could do that. I, I could easily create a beautiful card with this. This is the point. Um, gorgeous card, Leanne says, Carol McDaniel, Dawn Mayo uh, says, I cannot wait to make these. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and Christian just saying, so excited to get these dies uh, at work. Um, I tell you what, we'll go through the boards in just a second, but I think, you know, whilst it's, it's good to show you the boards to sort of see what you're going to get, you need to see cards really, you need to see finished samples because this is where the inspiration is. Um, two fantastic demos, but I know Leanne's got lots of cards lined up the other side of the studio. Um, lots of different ways you can work with these. Let's have a look. Lots of different ways you can use them, Ben. They're really, and I think I've got a whole pile of things to show you here. And I think what that does is really demonstrate for such a very, I'm going to say, simple concept because it is a simple concept, such a simple concept, what beautiful, impactful mm. cards you can make. You can see here, just two uh, cut out, put little gems in the centers of the flowers, done the contrast in the center, a special friend, some very subtle coloring, looks absolutely lovely. Here we've done an easel card again, and you can see just using some of those inked backgrounds, cutting it in here, putting yeah. it in white there, so you've got the contrast between the two. I think my favorite way of using these is this. Yeah. Because like yourself, Ben, I love white space on yeah. a card. I really love white space on a card. Look how elegant they are. There's the dragonfly and the little daisy there. Really, really beautiful. Um, and then, of course, the one that we made earlier, you know, if you just do a little bit more of a pop, look mm. how beautiful that is. They're really, Incredible. in the way they were designed, they're perfection. But of course, you can do so many different things. This is lovely, a little bit of inking in the background. You don't have to be very confident crafter to do that. This could not be more simple. Sorry, fell down. Um, Stunning. For a golden wedding with those hearts. A little bit of mirror card in the background yeah. and your cream pearl over the top. How gorgeous is that? Nice contrast in the cardstock here using those doves. Um, and then some fussy cutting around the edge. So that stands out on that top panel, just using your colours, using one of those little uh, borders just to make a standout panel on the front. Yeah. Another fantastic way, I think this is my second favourite way of using the one I'm about to show you now, Ben, is Harmony Water Reactive. Just in a little bit of a blend across the front to show Ooh. you your full panel or to follow the path. Mm. Different colour families. Uh, this one, little gems in the centre of the flowers, if that's what you want to do. Absolutely glorious. Look, they go on and on. I've got so many Seriously, that I can yeah. show you. Each and every one of these, Ben, I'd be proud of if I'd made it. Our design team have done such a fabulous job of showing you how you are never going to tire of an idea with these or the ability to make the most beautiful cards where... Um, they're just understated elegance. You can make a performance or you can make something very simple. Yeah. So you've got a lovely gift bag there. And then look at this with the box. Just using some happy oh, papers. Incredible. And those balloons, the little pop-out pieces, the waist has been 3D'd up on a foam pad to get the 3D pieces on a box there. Really lovely. It's just a soup son of what you can do with them, Ben. It's soup son. Soup son. Oui, un petit peu. Um, they are incredible and you know what it always says to me when you see um, how much our design team have done with these and how they much how much they love them if you've got all that inspiration to take home you're onto an absolute winner because not only have you got a great product there but you've also got so much inspiration to take home as well uh, Erica just saying Leanne I always learn a lot from you um, and Miriam saying, I love the samples, absolutely stunning. That uh, showstopper deal proving very popular, uh, well over a quarter of the stock has now gone if you want to pick that up. Uh, remember, you're going to get the ballpoint pens, the glue ballpoint pens, and the low tack tape included within there, uh, worth over £17, $20 that you're picking up basically for an extra five. Less than that, of course, if you are a Platinum member. Uh, pick this up, don't wait until the launch show. We, I know we've got uh, loads of demos lined up for 
launch, but don't wait, get it now and you can sit back and enjoy the show and all of the demos. Something else that we've got coming up for you later on, on um, Monday Makers. Now this is incredible. This is the Monday Mega Deal, a 24 hour deal that we do. And in my little mind, normally the Monday Mega Deal is maybe, it's never like a full collection. Is it really? Yes. It's ne it very rarely do we do a full no. collection. Yeah. Um, it's, it's normally maybe, maybe some glues or maybe some uh, tape pens or mm -hmm. maybe like um, a, a, a little collection where we've bundled a few items together. This is the first time that I can think, and I only mention it because this is a ridiculous price. This is ridiculous. Monday Mega Deal, 24 hour deal basically. Uh, don't hang around on this. 70% saving on the lattice folding guys. These are normally $7.99 each if you are platinum. £11.50 for all six or $14.33. And once again, right, similarly to the um, the new confetti border lace, th th these are dies that do all of the work for you to create the most um, outstanding panels, great uh, little backgrounds that you can create with these as well. Um, and you're going to actually get 12 dies in total because it's a six piece collection. Um, great for making uh, panels and backgrounds and frames with these two. And if you've ever tried lattice folding um, before, I know a lot of you when we launched these were saying just how difficult it was to do manually. These dies take all of the hard work out of it for you because um, they are going to uh, cut everything that you need. And once you've you've got that die cut here, you're then simply just manipulating um, the fold back to create some stunning effects. And th there's some really beautiful designs in here from that double loop to the uh, chevron you've got in there as well. Uh, you're then going to be getting the double diamond you've got the uh, beautiful stars in there you've got opulence in there too um, and once again um, beautiful circles in there so um, again if you're looking at this and thinking oh is it tricky to do it really isn't it's a really stunning effect that you've got in all six of those different designs but it's really very achievable for all if you've dillied and dallied with these in the past and thought oh shall I shan't I today is the day to snap this deal up it's incredible uh, £11.50 $14.33 uh, and we'll be looking at those in more detail in Monday Makers a little bit later and also an incredible deal today on a best ever price the zigzag scene builders um we saw a little zigzag card earlier on with leanne in the um concept suite with the new confetti borders and and that's the kind of effect you're going to ach achieve with these as well so um specifically made to create that zigzag effect however you can use these as like your 2D die cuts as well. You don't always have to go 3D with these, but look at that cool effect that it creates. I think this is everyone's favorite within the bundle, the once upon a time. Um, you've got the, uh, the three different dies there to be able to create that scene, to create that zigzag, almost like, you know, the little um, carriage there being led up to the fairy castle. This again, 51.96 is what you should be paying, $60. You are at 28.80 if you're platinum or $32.80 if you're shopping in the US. They all come as well with a wonderful selection of to go with them so you've got all your sentiments there things like and they lived happily ever after happy birthday and uh, to the fairest of them all also in this set though not just a fairy tale scene you've got this beautiful garden dreams Again, how cool is that building up that scene? You don't always have to create the zigzag if you want to, but that's what these have been specifically designed to do for you. Uh, again, wonderful sentiments uh, specific to the scene that you've got within the dies. You've got the beautiful Our Hometown, which is that really beautiful uh, village scene with the church and the houses and the, the gateway there. And then lastly in this collection is this one here. Again, another beautiful village scene. Um, really stunning with the bicycle going up the hill. Oh, sorry, I was looking at that upside down. It's a basket, isn't it? I thought it was a cat on the bicycle. Well, no, it's the basket. I think I've never noticed that before. Uh, you've then got the tree, and then you've got the, uh, the beautiful steps up to the house at the top. Um, and again, some really wonderful sentiments. Have a wonderful day from my home to yours. Home, sweet home, and more. It is 12 dies, 20 stamps. Really fun concept uh, for just £28.80 if you're part of them, or $32.80. Best ever price on that collection. Uh, we're going to have a look at that in just a second. Few little comments coming through. Lots of you enjoying the show. Um, Dawn says you could put these end to end to make scrapbook borders. They're gorgeous, the, um, the confetti borders. Um, Carol Byrne says, I could listen to Leanne all day. Well, it's a good job because she's here all day. Uh, full, uh, full day of Leanne today, which is amazing. First day of our January news. Um, new news. 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 New launch each and every day. For the news plural. Yes. For the news. News. Sensational 
topics of the day. Y yes, yes. yes. I, I, just to say as well, because a few people, as I say, got confused with the, little, the new little promo that we put on the Facebook page. Everyone was like, oh, I really like the, the news. I can't wait for next month's news. I don't think there's going to, I mean, unless you really enjoyed it, yeah, it might be a new thing, but it was the news as in the new news. Uh, Lynn says I ordered the lattice dies uh, last night when I spotted them. What a deal. Uh, but let's have a look at these zigzag scene builders. Um, lovely collection at a half price deal today. A lot of fun again, these Leanne, aren't they? Set, set. Oh, they are, Ben. They really are. Now, I, I must just show you what they do before I get into the detail of my demonstration. Yeah. Because I want to show you what a zigzag card is. Let me find here. Oh, let me find one in the truest concept. Here we go. This one's perfect. So the zigzag cards were made to zigzag. Oh, I'll show you overhead, should I? Because you, you need to be, that's a bit zoomed in. There we go. Right. So a zigzag card is made to show you the three different levels there. So you can see you've got the background, yep. the trees, then you've got the castle, and then you've got the carriage. So it's on a zigzag, it's on a half um, diagonal fold, and then you do one, two, three pieces. They stack on top of each other. Yeah. Now you don't just have to have them so they fold like that. You can lay them up on top of each other if you want to. So you've got that fold out stepper. You can in fact glue them all flat if you yeah. want to, to make that stepper. Um, you can use them on top of a tag. You can use them, um, here's a, a brilliant example of the zigzag, but smaller where you've got the little piece and you can see the zigzag fold on top of each other. And if I can just show you, the zigzag comes from how they fold and stand. So it comes out and shows you there, and you see how it zigzags into the scene. You get that 3D mm, look into the scene. Very clever. That's what they will do for you. But there are so many, many different ways you can use them. Um, this is probably one of my favorite samples of all time. I must just show you it. Look how incredibly gorgeous this is. Oh, that it's is amazing. It's a 3D scene in a box lid for a Christmas gift. Ha! Huh. That's, isn't that amazing? So the box lid, I'll just show you inside. So there's the gate opens on the front. Oh, that's brilliant. Look at there. I and love then that. the box lid's being done deeper. So you can see how it's falsely 3D'd inside so to make clever. the lid, which then gives you that depth inside of there to put the layers of the scene in. Yeah. That, for me, that's better than the gift inside. I'd be oh, keeping absolutely. that and putting that every year as a decoration with some little LED lights behind. Yeah, I love that idea. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, it is. Look, so many different things you can do with this. They're absolutely fabulous. Now, I have got quite a bit of this prepared. Yeah. So I can talk you through what I'm going to do um, because you want to see you come together, not all of the measuring, but I am going to tell you what I've measured. So I've done a little bit of a take on the zigzag. Instead of doing the little thin card, I've still got the zigzag of the scenes building up together, but it's on a trifold five by seven card. Yeah. So when it's all closed up, you've got the scene, but you open it up, it's like that. And when you stand it up um, and show it, you can see you look through the zigzag there and you can see the full scene before you. Okay, so that's what we're going to make. Okay. Now, I've got a few things ready, Ben. So we've got three pieces of card here, which is important. I'll just make sure I'm not throwing anything away. Nope. Now, this is a half fold five by seven. Um, and I'll just show you that by pushing my mat up. So you can see the measurements I'm going to show you. So you see in the corner here, this is a five by seven card. Now, I would, you would be forgiven for saying, but Leanne, that's five and a half inches there. Oh, yeah, if I could, yes, it see? is. It's five and a half. It is five and a half. That's because I've got an extra scored tab here at yeah. half an inch, which is going to allow me to stick that to this panel uh, to make the trifold. I see. So you need your back to be five and a half long and your front to be five and then seven tall. And then what I've done is decide where my panels are going to be. Now, you see, I've already cut with a craft knife and marked with a pencil where they are. The front one is longer, is shorter, lower down than the middle one. So yeah. you can see if I drew a line there where my cut lines are, it's going in a diagonal up the card. Can yeah. you see that? Mm -hmm. This first one's going to be for the gate. So I'm going to use the gate die on there. Now you've got to, where have I put the gate? <laughs> Here it is. So many times. There it is, I found it. Now I'm using my Gemini for this. Yep. Because I've got a five by seven card base. I could no 
if you do them in single pieces and join them do them in your Gemini but to get that precise cut I'm going to use my Gemini plate and then I'm going to line up the edge of the gate that has no cut line so you can see this edge has a cut line this yeah. edge doesn't that goes face down at the bottom there now what I've done is I've cut all the way down here and um, each one of these panels have a half an inch border all the way around Ben half an inch not cut marked with a pencil because you can rub that out later and I've cut all the way to the bottom there but I've only cut to the height of my gate I see from that corner there yeah and that's so that the gate can remain hinged when I've run it through the machine and cut it okay so we find where that is line that up there and the gate can remain hinged now if you need to go back with your craft knife and cut a little bit more with your snips you can do that too just checking where that is that's lovely and then that's going to get stuck and because okay. that piece of cardstock is going to get cut away oh, I folded it up doesn't matter there we go that gets stuck there onto your plates make up your sandwich and pop it through your machine that's the first cut okay and you know you know Ben the first cut is the deepest. Is always the deepest. Yes. Baby, you know. Rod Stewart. The first cut is the deepest. Wasn't it? Uh, who was, was it? it? Rod. Was it Rod? I'm sure it was Rod Stewart. I think it was Rod Stewart. Originally. Then covered in the 80s or 90s by someone. Someone will tell us. Okay. So we've run that through. I'm going to find my porky tool. Yeah, I've got everything all over. I'm normally quite a tidy crafter, Ben. No, you you it's not enough tidy, but it's... Um... I'm just... It's, it's very untidy today. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to say. It really <clears throat> is. Right, so there we go. So you can see I've cut the gate in. So that's now on the he on the hinge. There we go. Cat Stevens, that's right. It first, Cat Stevens. And then I've got now that whole aperture will come away. Yeah. All I need is my little snips. Uh-huh. You can use a craft knife or your scissors, however you, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to use my little scissors. Snip that away just to where it is, because you can only guesstimate that. You can never get it perfect. No. And then that's going to come away there, which then brings out that middle panel. And that's my first panel with the, gilt up, with the nice. gate on. And the gate is hinged. Yeah. Because it doesn't cut on the end. OK, it'll start to make sense as you see me uh, popping the dies out. So then I'm going to go with the next one. And the next one I'm going to use is just my little village. Whoever used this die set last, see me after school. Whoa. Johnny, can we track that down, please? <laughs> He's dropped uh, everyone right in it. Ooh. See me after school because you haven't cleaned your dies. Okay. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear me. Right. So now what we're going to do is turn this over and then your dies cut on an angle. So what you do is you find the angle on your card where you want it to go. Yeah. And then pop your die. And you are going to have to do a little snip, but you can see I've cut there and marked it with a pencil because that's the angle I want it on. So I'm pointing to there. And then I've cut there on an angle marked it with a pencil so I'm going there do you know you can freestyle this Ben it doesn't you? have to be yes it doesn't have to be as accurate as I'm showing you but I think it just makes mm. the explanation a little bit clearer and then because this whole top piece will come away uh -huh. that's my way that's where I stick the die still and then I run that through exactly as I did before um, okay Deborah's been in touch saying hi Ben Leanne and crew and everyone watching from Chile Lancashire I'm watching from a distance Engrossed with Leanne's demos and fabulous design team makes with new dies, I ordered them and I didn't say hi. Well, we'll let you off, Deborah, seeing as it's you. But well done, great ordering. Uh, and already, just go back to those confetti dies. Mandy's saying, can we please have the confetti dies in Christmas, such as trees, holly stars, ca candy canes, gingerbread, bells, candles, Santa, and more? That would be great. Uh, leave that with me. Good. Now, um, I've done that there. There we go. Now we're going to just take the scissors and snip again, just yep. to the, uh, the end. So that's from the corner there to where the die is. Snip. Mm -hmm. And then the same on this side, just from that there. And snip. And that's that cut in the right place there. Now when I fold this over, ah, yes. you can see how it's starting to build that thing. Perfect. Now we will do exactly the same again, but with the church in the background. And you can see I've got my full piece there, and then you could just decide where do you want the church to be. Entirely up to you. 
pop it on and cut it out. Now I'm not going to Ben because no, I know we've really not got time. a massive amount of time so I'm going to show you the next piece. I'll talk you through the next bit. Yes. Now when, I, when you've cut your church out of this piece you're going to have to imagine it's being cut. This extra little flap here is where that panel then gets stuck. Let me just show you that there. So you would stick that to that oh, I see. and that's what me and that goes behind there so yep. it bends away sticks on there bends to the back imagine the church is being cut there I'll draw it on for you and that's where the church would be does that make sense yes yep. okay so once you've done that and you've glued it together and I can show you here there's the little folded piece there's my church piece glued on then the houses fold on top of that and the gate folds on top of that. Then you're going to colour in your pieces. So you just take your pen of choice. It can be watercolour, it can be your tri-blends, whatever you want. I've tri-blend coloured the grass. Yep. Just, you know, it can be painted, watercoloured, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Colour in your houses. Uh-huh. So just go with a light colour. And I like to keep these quite painterly, Ben. I'm not worried about these looking like perfectly blended pieces. I actually think it looks better to keep it quite loose yeah. and random and not put too much pressure on yourself because, you know, it's, it is meant to feel like a piece of artwork. See, I've just blended those three colours out and that gives that lovely shade on the house there. Nice. Pick a bright roof. Colour in your roof. Oh, yeah. Uh, and you would do this, I'm not going to do it for all of them, but you would see you colour that in for all of your houses and churches, etc. Perfect. Then what I've done is create myself these mats and layers. And these will get stuck around. I'm not going to glue them. I'm going to talk you through it. I'll glue them after the show. Yeah. But I've got a finished one so you can see, and it'll all be obvious. And you're going to put these, one there and one there, uh -huh. so that when you open it up, it's like that. Uh -huh. And then you flip the whole thing round and you put one there. Okay. And then we've got a plain piece of white cardstock, which has eluded me. There it is. With a scene from the norm pad. Perfect. I love how this is coming together. And that goes behind there on 3D form. Oh, well, it's brilliantly. So then that is your background. That is your foreground yeah. with that on when it's glued in place. And that is your zigzag in the middle. And when they're all coloured in, this is what we've got. So you've got your front with your gate, your middle, and then your background with your norm scene in there. And when you stand it up, that's what you've got. That is brilliant. And I love the fact that you took time just to explain a little bit, um, you know, about the measurements and how it all comes together. I think it's good that's to more see. important than watching me colour it in, Ben, because at least now you can, rep you can repeat doing yeah. that at home yourself. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Um, just a quick question. I know you're going to get your cards on. Petrina, I'm really sorry. I was going to ask this earlier, then I totally forgot. So I'll ask you now. Hopefully you're still watching. Remember earlier on when you made the gnome card, which we're going to see? Yeah. And you um, you put your foam pads on, and then you added a bit of hot glue. I did. Petrina was wondering why you used hot glue in that instance on the foam pads and not the normal glue. Uh, I wanted it to dry very quick as part of my yeah. demonstration. <clears throat> um, and actually either so if you've got time to put the wet glue on and then leave it to dry because the wet glue then would make your foam pad slippy so yeah. you can put your wet glue on and you've got time to leave it for half an hour that's fine if you're an impatient crafter like me and you want to only wait five seconds then hot glue because it dries instantly excellent question between um just sorry about the host here who was very delayed on asking it right let us get the vote going and then we'll just recap on a few of the hot items from this show but some amazing projects from Leanne that she's made, but which is going to be your favourite? Uh, let's remind you on all of the cards that Leanne has made. Let's get ready to light them up. Here comes the big vote. Uh, remind I us what you made, Leanne. Pressure. Oh, you feeling the pressure? Uh, I'm feeling the pressure. Um, okay, I've had to do. I mean, Aww. I've done some. I've made some cards today, Ben. I mean, you have made some cards. Doesn't actually happen very often. It doesn't. Normally, does it? I talk a lot. Yeah, I do a yeah. bit of colouring. No. So there we go. This is the first one. That Love was confetti that. borders. That's mm -hmm. number one. Yeah. Number two was um, the gnome. ZZ and Svetlana. ZZ and Svetlana. <laughs> I love <laughs> that. The third one was the easel. Uh, yeah. With the little confetti Three. border. And then the last one was the Z-fold scene. Oh. Four. 
One, two, three, or four. I reckon you've got about two and a half minutes to get your vote in oh, on I'm that. I'm excited. Oh, I'm feeling the pressure. Hey, you're going to win today. I am going to win today. I'll get a star on the board because Sarah's got one star more than me. Um, here's the thing. You won't actually get a star <gasps> on the board today because you have to win on Sunday, demo of the, the week. I mean... I haven't got... Z ben, I've got zero stars. I mean, if, if, if the demand is there, you know, if anyone... You know, we Can can't. we do a vote, give Leanne a star in the social comments? <laughs> Just for be, just for being hilarious this yeah, morning. Hilarious, hilarious. and um, the singing put, jokes. We could put like smiley face in the star, and that could just be a hilarious star. I like that. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, and then I've got one. Yeah, and okay. then what might happen is you might then actually win on Sunday, and then yeah. we just rub out the smiley just face with the official. Well, no, I get another star. Oh, is that is the because smiley. that's the hilarious star, ah, Ben. So yeah. then I've got two stars. That means I've got one more than Sarah. Yeah. I reckon we do that. I'm up for that. Okay. I'm up for that. To I be mean, fair, I know it's throwing the reels out the window. Yeah, but to be fair, when Sarah's in, she tends to just do what she wants anyway. I mean, so. I think Sarah steals the stars. I'm saying nothing. The Zigzag Scene Builder stamp and die collection is rather marvellous there, isn't it? 12 dice, 20 stamps in total here. Uh, you are saving... Well, best ever price. Best ever price. 51.96, 59.80 is what you should be paying. You're down to £28.80 or $32.80. You've got all of these different... Um... <laughs> Sorry, Rachel on the socials just put... Sarah puts her own on, so Leanne can. Uh, there we go. There we go. Rachel has spoken. Uh, there is the Once Upon a Time, is that beautiful fairy tale scene. And again, you know, if you wanted to see exactly how easy it is to work with these, if you've um, just tuned in, go back and watch the last 20 minutes or so where Leanne's taking you um, through exactly what you need to be doing to create this effect. But also, that one's called Garden Dreams, by the way. But also, you know, you don't have to create these in a zigzag effect as we've seen. If you want to layer these up differently, if you want to use these as 2D, 2D dies, you can. That one is the Our Hometown, which is the one that we've just seen. Uh, don't forget, you get all these stamps included as well. So you've got the personalised sentiments to go with them. And um, I love this one as well, that beautiful um, sort of cottage scene, isn't it, really, with the bicycle going up the hill. £28.80, $32.80 is the price on that collection. And just quickly, before we get the result i've seen it just pop through let me just remind you of the um, confetti border dies brand new just worth stating because i know a few eagle-eyed viewers uh, noticed the dragonfly border that dragonfly um on the cards isn't in the in the bundle that was exclusive to hsn so um that one isn't included however you do get six fantastic designs in this set i think um one of my favorite launches of the year so far can i put it out there i've done it I absolutely love this because, it, as you've seen, it creates something so sophisticated, so classy, but it's really, really um, easy to do. Um, you're going to get these six designs within the uh, confetti borders, the in-flight, which is beautiful doves. Don't forget as well, these don't officially launch until 2 o'clock this afternoon, um, so lots more demos coming. 30% of the showstopper deal is already gone, hence the, um, the sound effects there. Very busy. Uh, you've got confetti sprinkles, party time is the balloons and the stars. You've got the design here, which is the beautiful uh, scattered flowers. Uh, also in this set, you've got the butterflies and then you've got the happy hearts in there too. The, um, the two demos you've seen in this show with that die, but you're going to see more of the dies used during um, the launch coming up in just a few moments. With the showstopper deal, over 30% of the stock now gone, you get all six dies. We're also going to give you five of our ballpoint glue pens and you're going to get three of our low tech tape. That's £17, $20 worth of product but you're only going to be paying an extra five pounds or five dollars if you pick up that showstopper deal if you want to go for the confetti border dies on their own you can do most people go for the showstopper if you want to go for individuals you can do that as well if you just want to dip your toe in the water patrina thank you for messaging i'm so glad apologies for my tardiness on asking the question but you're still watching marvelous uh, you got to hear the answer uh, love the zigzag card uh, Michelle Parsons says, Leanne deserves 10 stars for her and her design team's work. Thank you. I will add them to the board. <laughs> uh, all 10. Thank you. <laughs> I just write, Michelle Parsons said Michelle so. Michelle Parsons said so. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Michelle. I really, I appreciate you. Demo of the show. Okay, demo of the show. I'm it's, excited. I know. It's good to see it. Especially with the drum roll. Yeah. It's between three and four. Is it? Mm-hmm. 
And by a nose, the winner, number four. <gasps> no way, Jose. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The zigzag. The zigzag's done it. The zigzag has it. Well, there you go. Well, I'm pleased I took the time to explain how Me to put too. it together then. Me too. Well, thank you very much for that, everybody. Yeah. And thank you. And no, thank you. No, back... thank you, no. then. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you, Ben. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> we could keep this going for a while, couldn't we? <laughs> We've got another minute to fill, but I'm going early. <laughs> um, massive thank you to Leanne. We're back for the official <laughs> launch in an hour's time. Keep checking out your baskets um, because you can shop in between shows. That showstopper will be disappearing. When everyone else wakes up, guaranteed that will go. So shop now and then come back and enjoy the show. Um, I know Leanne has got, whether we get round to doing them all or not is another matter. Probably not the way we chit chat and muck about, but there's a, um, a, at least four I'm going to call it at least four, possibly six demos coming up um, in launch day. And then this evening from six, of course, Monday Makers with those amazing deals on the zigzags, the lattice folding dies. We've got the colour all creator card dies, the gnomes as well. Hit the shop the day button to see all of the deals. Get those items in your basket, get them checked out and come back in an hour's time for the official launch of those amazing brand new dies. Leanne and I will see you then. Until then, bye for now.